Welcome to this video. I'm going to play around a little bit with uh, my music. So it can be quite complex um, to set all your music players and your channels. So the, 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 the focus point is actually the technical part. Music player is always fun and you can figure that out yourself. But the technical part is often on desktops, wherever you are, is how to set the channels. So I did install a few music players, but like I said, the, the thing is, it can be sometimes very technical. And then you go to the Arch Wiki and to Pulse Audio and to Alsa and things like that, to sound and read about it. But normally, out of the box, it will work. But even then, it still stays a little bit complex. If you are in XFCE, we get this nice little button and you can actually tell the system, okay, I'm gonna to listen to my HDMI. So let's go to the technical parts immediately. And that is Control Alt U. That's the pulse audio volume control, PAVO control for short. So everybody has it because I install it on all the systems. That's your actual word that you type, pulse audio volume control. So this thing is controlling everything. Now it all depends how um, complex your system is. In here, in my configuration, I have a few lines. HyperX Virtual Surround, which is my USB or was the just a jack um, headphone, so with a cord. Built-in audio is my uh, screen, HDMI, right? But it does have boxes, it does have make sound if I want to. So another line. Rode NT-USB is my microphone to record the videos. And I have hooked up an HD Pro webcam C920, which also records. When I take my headphones here and I just switch on my boost, uh, you'll see the name later on, then I'll get something always more and more complex. LE Boost QC352 is going to play high fidelity AD2. Normally this is set correctly, but uh, if it's not, you should set it to AD A2 DP sync, which is a beautiful sound and this is just rubbish. So it should really be this one. Okay, so that means my life is quite complex. I have here five lines and I don't know how to choose all that. So inside then you go to the input devices. You see already what my input is through this thing here that's jumping up and down. And I set this to the system, wait for it, mute audio. So my headset is not gonna record. My front microphone unplugged, not gonna record. The only one that is able to record is this guy. And it is set as fallback, so meaning you're the guy. Fallback is actually the primary one. That's the one that's gonna be used. Okay, and then we have the webcam where I say, never mind, you won't be recording. Input, microphone. Output, speakers. So HyperX Virtual Surround, that's my uh, headset with a cord. I say, okay, you can play around, around with me, but at this point in time, this guy kicked in and I can just say again, off. So I switched it off again. And then this guy will kick in, HyperX Virtual Surround. That's the one that's going to play the music. So that's my headset with a cord. So it all depends what um, I have available, but these guys will never play music. My microphone will not be playing music. Neither do I want my, um, my screens here from Asus, they are, will never play any sound. So it's, this is the first thing I need to do when I go for a clean install on any desktop, Control alt u get my settings right. Because you know, if I forget, and sometimes I do forget to put this slider a little bit like this, this is, I think, the standard sound. So you'll hear the difference now when I put it back up. So that's the thing I need to do manually every time. If I forget the sound, the video will be less strong. So output devices, I've 
figure that one out and say, okay, you're the guy. And when this boost thing here works, there's a script on Arc Linux Nemesis that's going to set my Bluetooth first one and it's going to be set immediately as the important one. Recording. Well, I'm recording here. Fine. So that's just one choice. Nothing to do here. And playback is which uh, application is going to play. And it seems it's still in here. So quit. And it's out of there. Now, um, let's. So if this is all set and you think this is all right, then you can close this one. You can forget about this one. And then everything can maybe set via the desktop. It depends what desktop, desktop you are on. You're, we have 14 desktops, 14, I mean, and the tiling window managers are a little bit specific because it's gonna be less, um, well, themed and tweaked by the desktop itself, right? If you have Plasma or if you have Mate and Cinnamon, these guys have it all figured it out as a, as a whole, as a package, you'll find settings in there and you can set it in there. Now, let's uh, play some music. Let's start with, I don't know, um, you know, see me always play Spotify. So let me start with Spotify Premium. There's only problem with playing music. Um, you get often banned when you're on, uh, when you put videos online on YouTube, if you play music. So the thing is, Control Alt U. Let's use this one as well. Playback. Uh, can we put you here? Yes, we can. So when you play this little piece of music, you see already where it's going to play. It's going to play in here. You see, Spotify on. You get this choice, but here sometimes you need to set it manually because now you're going to switch this off. If I do. I switch this uh, boost set off here, this boost um, headset, then it's going to switch back to my output device up here. HyperX is going to be the fallback again. So it all depends, but it needs to be set in here. That's where it probably goes wrong if you don't have any sound. So fine, working. Um, what can you do? We can go to Alt G and listen to some YouTube from the old days, Belgium is known for new beat. Asset is one of them. Sound of Belgian, new beat, asset, okay? So when you're listening to some music, like so, it's going to come out somewhere. Chromium, HyperX, it's going to be in here. And if I rather want to listen to something else, I'm, I'm gonna put my boost back on and switching it back. And there you go. It says something like connected to Arc Linux and well, we are listening to it on that channel. So it's the, the importance of the video is actually to dive into Pavu control or Pulse Audio Volume Control to actually get to know this thing. Okay. So we are listening to the music. Check. I hope you're not hearing it because the video might be banned. Then everything falls into place. If this backend thing is working, then it doesn't matter really what you want. And I just went on a look. There are two ways to go for a look on uh, on Linux, well, on Arc Linux anyway, to have some software. So if you do software update, so I'm typing update, software, software update, software. Then we have this GNOME thing installed and you can actually tell them I just want to see productivity, add-ons, graphics, audio, video. But even up here, you can decide to just see the music players. You can sort it by name, top rated. It was first at top rated. Then I said, okay, but where's this babe thing? Something new as I saw somewhere. So this babe thing is, is alphabetically now at the top. And it's all a lot of um, choices, really. And that's great on Linux to have all these choices. Sonata, I did not install. Just click install. It's installed, right? You can launch it now. There are lots of possibilities, but some are more suited for video than for music. So if you're really talking about music players, you'll have to figure that out. Now, 
What is also important, I feel, and that's why Braga is in in our systems. Let's start with the standard music player from us. What I do and what I like, what I, what I liked about Praga is when you open a new window and you'll see that my music is actually control H. My music is actually empty. So let's delete this thing. And you know that I have a clean install, install policy. Everything is gone. Get back from Dropbox or InSync or Google Drive or anything eh, cloud like and get everything in not my music it's terabytes of music right so well okay gigabytes but a lot you don't put that on an ssd you're not going to put it on your your like they say the c or the sda right you're not gonna put it there you're gonna put it on a three terabyte hard disk external internal but somewhere else now the fun stuff is i just put a few uh just to test all these systems out i have this dropbox right and it just contains two uh, well, CDs of Simple Minds. And the only thing I do is click on this music button, right mouse click, and then I say, um, where is he? Create Semlink. <coughs> That's it. This thing is pointing to that folder. And then I'm say cut, put it in music, paste. That's it. When I click on this link, I'm actually my Dropbox, but the audio players don't know that. You could be on your external hard drive. You can be on an internal hard drive. You can be on a USB hard drive. You can be anywhere you want on the parts of your system, but it's not visual. It's not the, your, your system doesn't know. It's just a symbolic link that it follows. And that's why it's important for me that uh, any audio player actually uses that is has the capability of following a symbolic link so all the gigabytes of music is somewhere else and praga is one of them so when you do when you open praga it's going to uh, scan the library and many of these things do that so they scan the library and if not you have to set it somewhere but i believe this one does asks it uh, the first time it's gonna ask it and we have a rescan library. So you've added something else to it, rescan library and everything is here available and we can play our music, okay? So these things work fine. Um, of course, there's so many settings. So like I said, not the point of the video, but it is important to set it up just the way you like it and you use it, you want it. So putting in some time to invest in all these applications like Clementine, can I add stuff? Your library is empty. Click here to add some music. Click on it. Gonna say add new folder. Gonna say that's in the music. Go and have a look there. Choose, apply. Okay. And let's see if he finds it. Here's Simple Minds, Glittering Prize. Go, go and play. So yes, it's, it's possible. So Nice wallpaper, change. That's variety for you. If you're still struggling with the wallpapers changing all the time, that's here, preferences. So I think my, my point is made, but th there can be lots of more things like NCM, PCP is something that we have as well. That's something terminal-like, which is also fun to do. Uh, you have this um, numeric keypad just type in one and two and three and four and five and six. You see here the five, the four is interesting. You walk around and see through all these CDs what's on there and play any video um, music you want, but it's rather terminal like. And there are other things like just like that and other um, tools. There is for instance as well Let's have a look at what I installed in this machine. So Audacious, Babe, Clementine, Dead Beef. Not interesting, edit tags in your audio file. So it's not uh, not interesting because it's not music you're playing. Lollipop is interesting. MPV, media player, rather big actually. <laughs> it was actually fun to just drop something on there. 
open a new window. Uh, dot, 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 where's my music? Dropbox. Where are you, Dropbox? Here you are. Multimedia, music, glittering price. Just want to play one. Boom. And that's how it is. It looks very, very minimal. Um, but okay. There is something for everybody. That's great. And um, what else? So, quad Libit Radio Trade. That's the one I wanted to get to. We have also this little possibility. Clementine is still in here. Well, quiet, quit here. Uh, Praga is still in here, quit. Uh, this is a radio tray. These are all radio things you can put on. I often end up here. New Dance Radio is my kind of thing. But you choose whatever you want. Then we have also another fun stuff that I think this is in the falls in the fun category in the fun script curse radio, which also um, terminal like it's not transparent. You have to live with that, but it's uh, still okay. So you go with like this, yeah. Um, let's say local radio. I'm from Belgium. I'm gonna play Nostalgie Vlaanderen, right? So Sean Mendes and Hub it's playing radio in my terminal. So there are lots of fun stuff regarding to music and you well need to figure it out but it's at first it needs to play so control alt u power control this needs to be set the correct way otherwise you'll be frustrated and that's not the point you never you know Arc Linux is, is not um, and this true to have frustrations about you just need to have fun learn have fun then enjoy it okay so there you go. I hope uh, I help somebody with this uh, video and enjoy your music.